These are Caterham half hoods and they could be the best single accessory that you can get for these cars. Not only are they much faster and easier to put on and take down than the full Caterham hood, they're also a lot more comfortable to use, particularly if you're traveling any long distance. Because the back and sides of these hoods remains open, you keep the air circulation in the car, which means they don't get hot and stuffy as they can do with the full hoods on. And there are a couple of different manufacturers for these hoods. Caterham do their own, which is made by a company called Oxted Trimmings. Uh, there's an aftermarket brand as well called Softbits for Sevens, and they're both largely a very similar product. There are a couple of different material types you can use. So the vinyl is one, or the mohair is another. Uh, you can even have things like uh, zip outs in the roofs, which make getting in and out much, much easier. So we're just going to take you through the fitting of each of these hoods. Fitting a half hood is much easier and faster than fitting a full hood. So I'm just going to take you through how to fit an official cage from Oxted half hood. So as with the full hood, we always start at the windscreen. So just drape this over the car and come to the front. Now again, as with the full hood, we have this same velvet material here, which acts as your water seal. And we need to make sure that that stays neatly on top of the windscreen. So what I do is just tuck that material in behind the screen and starting from the middle, we're just going to rock those poppers into position one at a time. Like so. Then we come to the back and these attach with just four straps, two which follow the roll bar up at the back and two which follow the roll bar up at the sides. And with these, we just clip in the two at the back. And then the two at the sides. Now at the moment, these are out of adjustment, so the hood's still very loose. But with these, just pull these straps down, use the flat of your second hand just to help you get some tension. Now we don't need to pull these ridiculously tight, but just enough, you'll see the hood will come into tension there. And then the side straps, are the same, try and do them evenly, otherwise it will sit one side or the other. And you'll see that that will neatly pull itself into shape. And that's it really, that's, uh, that's your half hood on. The doors fit neatly under the sides there. And, uh, and that's it, so much faster than the full hood. So taking these off again is a very easy process. Start at the windscreen again. Now, unclip the two clips at the sides. Now my best top tip for half hoods makes these so fast to put on. If you take th these two at the back, which we've already adjusted into tension, leave them attached. So as you pull the hood back, pull it all the way back off the car and fold the sides in roughly in line with the straps at the other end. And then we can just roll this up from the front nice and neatly. And then this just folds into the middle flap in your boot, like so. And that's it away. But it means that next time you need it, you can simply unclip this, pull your hood out, and throw it over the top of the car and pop it on the windscreen. It's on in seconds. This is a Soft Bits for Sevens mohair half hood. And they fit at the front in exactly the same way. But the Soft Bits hoods have slightly different fittings at the back. Um, so we're just going to run through those. So very much like the, the Oxted hood, they have vertical straps that come down at the back, although in this case we have two, uh, and then the same straps at the sides, although these fit slightly differently. So once we pop it across the front of the windscreen, we're going to come to the back and just click in these straps into place. And then we're going to tighten. Now with tightening these, they work in the opposite direction to the Oxted hoods. So we're pulling down with this strap whilst pulling upwards with this one and locking those into place. Do the two vertical ones at the back first, just to get the initial tension. Then these two angled straps just help pull a bit of the curve out here by putting some, some tension into the sides of the hood. So just then do those. We've then got the two sides. Now, these are a little bit different in their makeup. They attach via poppers. 
And to make sure that these stay in the right place, typically speaking, the, pop, the press stud that's in the front corner of your boot cover will be double skinned. So there are, there's a popper here and then another popper on the top. Now to stop these pulling off, they have what we call lift the dot poppers or effectively locked poppers, um, which have little tabs in them, which hook on the underside of the press stud that's on the car. So to fit those, you need to hook the bottom in first and then pull it upright into place. And you'll find that now if you pull upwards or try and lift it up from underneath, it's impossible to remove. So you need to, to take them off, you need to fold downwards from the top and they'll just pop off. Um, so that's a top tip that's worth considering. So then put your side poppers on and then much as we did with the last one, it's just adjust them a little bit at a time just to make sure that we keep this hood nice and neat and in the middle. Just pull it down and you should find that comes into a nice clean tension. So then very much as we did with the Oxted hood, we're just going to take the poppers off from the windscreen first. And then the two side poppers. And then we can leave all four of these straps attached at the back. So we'll just pull this back, fold the sides in, roll it up neatly from the front. Off. And then just tuck it away into the middle section of your boot cover. And that's it. If you decide to go out and acquire your own half hood, it's really important to make sure that wherever you buy it from, you get the right size of hood for your car. Now, we'll all know that there are two different sizes of chassis and you're unlikely to get that wrong, but there are multiple different types of roll bar and it does make a difference if your chassis is a metric or an imperial chassis. So whether you're contacting Caterham or Softbits for Sevens, do make sure you tell them which version of chassis and roll bar you have so that they can provide you with the right product. Obviously, if you're going to buy it yourself from the internet or as a used item, then you may find that you can't get the exact correct half hood for your car, but they will still work. It will still fit, but it might not be a perfect fit. So just one thing to bear in mind. So that's it for Caterham half hoods. We hope you found it useful. We'd be really interested to hear which of the two types you prefer, so do comment below. But for now, that's it for another Turn 7 Top Tips video. Thank you. <laughs> okay.